Welcome to use on this product. Now I will show you the basic functions of background management software, which enable to set variable shift and create attendance report. Double-click Time Attendance System button on the desktop. Choose the Admin and click OK to log in. The main interface includes System Menu, Shortcut button, Status column. The first step of set shift is parameter setting. Click parameter setting in system menu. In this page, you can set unit name and calculation rules. For example, input HHH. It will be deemed as the head of department list. In common rule, the first item, a working day accounts how many minutes, is the transition standards to calculate late, early, overtime, and so on. The second item, not counting as how many minutes, means if a staffer forgets to punch in, it will be counted as late for how many minutes and show it as record. The same meaning to not count clock out atom. The fourth item of duty how many minutes later clock out counters over time means how many minutes later after of duty it will be calculated as overtime if a staff still works. Here we set zero minute. Next, click Statistic Rules. This page describes the items of the Statistic Rules. Normal, late, early. You can set their unit, like normal, the unit is day, minimum is one. And choose the wrong rule. Please Please choose them according to the real rule of your company. Normally, we choose round off and round the total. Next, click New Class. This page offers new classes and color to distinguish. For example, I want to add sick new. The step is click append. Input name sick in if class and choose the color below. Then click save. You can also modify or delete the if class. Next click field definition. This page adds the value for position, specialty, allocation of Staffer information. For example, add leader in position. The step is input leader in new field bar, then click append. You can also delete it. Opt for page setting completed. Click OK button to save. The second step is added staff information, which in which include department setting and staff maintenance. Click Department Management in HR Management Manual. This window enables add all departments of your company. For example, add HR department name. Click Append. Input HR 
in department name box. Then click save. You can also modify or delete it. In this way, you can add more departments here. Next, click Staff icon. This window enables you add all your company's staff information here. For example, I want to add Staff Julian information in HR department. This step is choose HR department firstly, then click Append. Then fill up the information below, like staff number 2001, name Julian. ID card is ID card number if the unit has this function. And then choose thanks, language, birthday, education, specialty, position. After completed, click Save. In this way, we can add more staffers. If the staff are transferred to other departments, please choose these staffers and click Transfer button. Then OK. If you have edited staff information in text or Excel format document, according to sample, please click Import, Import, choose it, click OK. You can choose any way format to import. The staff list can be exported to text or Excel format document. The third step is to set timetable and shift. Shift should be done in two steps. First, set up necessary timetable. Second, set up shift. Click timetable in the interface. For, for instance, the company's working hours are morning 8 o'clock to 12 o'clock, afternoon 13 to 17 o'clock. So you will have to add two timetables in timetable page. Click Append. Input morning as the first timetable name and fill up the following item based on your company's rule. On duty time, 8 o'clock. Off duty time, 12 o'clock. Begin clock time in and end clocking time is the valid time period for clocking. If a staff will punch in out of this time, time range, it will be counted as invalid record.
Begin clocking time should be earlier than on duty time. End clocking time should be in the middle of the time period. And please note, end clocking time can't be overlapped by begin clock out time, else the software can't decide clocking or out status. The same meaning to the following begin out clock out time and end clock out time. Net error allowance means how many minutes after on duty are counted as net. Normally we said five minutes. After fill up completed, click save. Then the same step to add after the time table. Next, click shift maintenance. Click the append. Input shift name, such as normal shift. Cycle, we choose one. Cycle unit week. Then click add to add timetables. In this window, select morning timetable and choose the weekdays. From Monday to Friday, click OK. Back to the main window. Click on OK to complete. The fourth step is to arrange the shift to status. Click Schedule icon. The step is to status. You can choose some or all. Then click the Arrange button. In the pop-up window, select Time Range. Then click Add. After a blue bar going completed, you can check the shifts in the main window. So until now, we succeed in arrange setup shifts. Next, we can click append records to add records, or we can also test in unit. Anyway. After we add some records, we can create various attendance reports. For instance, we will show you two days for all staffers records, and you can create one staffer, all staffer for one day or one month in attendance report.
This attendance report showing in all records. Late early overtime leave absent information, and you can also export the reports in text or Excel. It's up to you. After we click Calculate button, the reports will show below. The attendance reports show in our two records. The shift exceptions show late early overtime absent and so on. Other exceptions shows overtime leave calculated items shows total calculated items such as normal, actual, late, early and so on. You can also right click on the staff list and edit this information. For instance, you want to show late columns of all staffers, filter out columns, and the page created only shows late records. Left click report button can create five tab report which can be pre you can also click export to export the report in text or Excel format document. If you still have other problems about MVS product, please mail to technical support. Thank you.